Hi, and thanks for choosing to watch this C-Logic video in which we will look at setting up and using subjects and articles within Microsoft Dynamics CRM Online. Subjects are essentially categories that can be used to help organise products, sales literature, cases and knowledge base articles. A hierarchical subject tree can be created that should be thought of as an index of topics related to your business. Articles are any type of knowledge base entry that users can access to understand processes or research questions and answers. Each article can be associated to a subject and we will see how this manifests itself in some useful functionality within the cases area. First let's look at the subject area. Subjects can only be added by the administrator and you need to go to settings, business management, subjects. You will see that I have already added some subjects. The key is to map out how you want your subject tree to look beforehand, although you can easily remove or edit subjects. To add, simply click Add a Subject, give it a name and then select the parent subject to build the hierarchy. If this is a new top level subject, then simply select None. I'm setting up my hierarchy based on the products I sell and the potential areas of issue I may encounter. As I believe we may get some training questions, I'm going to add training questions to my Microsoft CRM subject tree. It's as simple as that. Now I've set up my subjects, let's take a look at articles. Articles are found in the workspace area and users can simply search for published articles and read them from here. In clicking in the search box, my dynamic ribbon provides me with more ways to search for articles. Notice in the article list that you can also see a title and a linked subject. In creating a knowledge base article, it has to go through an approval and publishing process, so many users can create articles, but only users with the correct security role can approve and publish them. To create an article, simply click the New button. And now you will be able to select a template and a language. Note that you can create as many templates as you like for knowledge base articles from the system administration area. I'll select question and answer and click OK. Next, give your article a title. In this case, how to configure subjects. Then select the subject to link it to a particular subject and I'll choose training questions that I set up before. I can also add some keywords which will help in the previously mentioned search methods. Now I can fill in the template as appropriate and format it as required. I can also scroll down and add any additional notes and comments required. Once complete, click Save and Close. Now we have to go through the approval process, so we look for our article under our Draft Articles view. Remember that this would now be done by somebody with the correct security role. Select the required article and click Submit in the top ribbon. Note that you could also open the article and click Submit from there. This now moves the article to the unapproved article list. So now look in the unapproved articles view, select it again and now click Approve from the dynamic ribbon.
This article is now published and is available to use. Note that it can be found now in our published articles view. From here you can unpublish articles which must be done if you want to permanently delete an article. So now, how do subjects and articles come together in using cases? Let's have a look at a case I have created where somebody has phoned in asking how to add subjects. I can click in the subject and then use the lookup or the form assistant on the right hand side to select the correct subject. I can then go down to notes and articles and when I click in the article the form assistant shows me all articles linked with the subject I've chosen. Notice that I can choose the article which I've just created. I choose that article and then I can view it and provide the answer straight away to my customer which will hopefully make them very happy. Well that's it, an overview of subjects and articles and how they can be used with cases. Remember to always read the help files if you have any problems but in the meantime thanks for watching this C-Logic video.